So the question was how to create a simple watermark that has some text in it uh, with an effect, like an embossing effect, um, but was transparent for areas where the text was, so that really all that you saw was the embossing effect. And I'm just going to walk through how to do that very quickly. It's not hard to do if you realize that the overlay blending mode will not affect a layer underneath it if the colors in that layer are pure gray. If they're lighter than pure gray, they'll lighten the image underneath it, and if they are darker than pure gray, they will darken the areas uh, underneath it. But if it's pure gray, it'll just show through transparently on, on all the layers below. So I'm just going to create a new, um, a new image very quickly, and I'm going to choose a nice middle gray as my foreground color. This is a 50% value, zero on hue and saturation, or 128 uh, across the board for red, green, and blue. And I'm going to go to the text tool and just put some text in here that I want to be my watermark. The copyright symbol I can just copy and paste from a document, in my case from the Google Plus post that Ian uh, had originally posted this in. And there it is. That's what I want my watermark to be. Now to actually create the embossing effect, um, I'm just going to do uh, two things. First, I'm going to turn off my background layer so I can see what's happening uh, a little bit better. And then I'm just going to duplicate that text layer I just made. Just duplicate it, duplicate layer. I'm not going to work on the top duplicate. I'm going to work on the one below it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of everything in this layer to white. So I'm just going to go color levels, and I'm going to change the output levels to pure white, like so. And if you want to see it, there it is. And then I'm just going to give it a small blur. Then I'm just going to move that bottom layer off just a bit. And if you're looking at this right, it should slightly look like an embossing effect. You're about halfway there. To get the rest of the way there, we kind of want the shadow on the opposite side of, of, uh, of where the light is. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer one more time. Now I'm going to change this one so that the colors are black. So I'm just going to change the output levels from uh, color levels and change the output levels down to black. Now it's a black layer. And I'm just going to offset that in the opposite direction of the light layer. Like so. Okay. And now I can just create a new layer from visible to have this. Um, you don't have to do this, but you can just crop it to a smaller size, and then copy it. Go to an image that you want to place this watermark on and paste it in place. And this is what we have. At the moment, it's a floating selection. If you want, you can turn it into a, uh, a regular layer by hitting the new layer button here. And there it is. It doesn't look very interesting, of course, until you change the layer blend mode of this new layer to overlay. And that's it. If you want, when you get it into a position that you like, if you'd like to make it a little bit more prominent, or for the effect to work a little harsher, um, you can just duplicate the layer one more time right in place, and it'll increase the intensity of the effect like so. What's nice about using this method is that you can do it with any image that has uh, you know, transparency or not. I mean, it's easier to do it with an image that has transparency. So for instance, if I wanted to do it with a logo, you know, I have like a logo, I can just do it with a logo. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to increase the canvas size uh, a little bit here for my existing logo and center it. This gives me a little room to have the, um, the embossing effect show up correctly. Uh, and then I'm going to change this because I want this logo to not show through on my final output. I only want the effects of the embossing. So I'm going to change this to pure uh, to a middle gray so that it doesn't affect the final output. 
change the output levels to 128 because my image was my logo was uh, pure black so I'm just changing blacks now to be uh, middle gray and just like before I'm going to duplicate the layer work on the one below it change its colors to white by changing the output levels up to pure white give it a blur I'm going to use a Gaussian blur this time because I want a little bit more blur maybe a few extra pixels here and then I'm just going to slightly offset it in whatever direction I want and then duplicate that change its color the duplicate slayer uh, colors so that its output is now to black and drag it in the opposite direction maybe something like that and new from visible and then paste it copy it and paste it turn it into an actual layer and change its layer blend mode to overlay and that's it